Hey, what's up, Pam? A uh, quick demo video for you for your mom saber, uh, Magic of Myth Hero Saber by Seven Chambers and Veracity Labs. Um, just got this done this afternoon, so I uh, wanted to go over it with you, right? This installed with a Prop EV2. Um, it's a two button setup, so your front switch, that'll be your activation, and then your back switch back here, that will be your auxiliary switch. Uh, you do have working LEDs in here, so red and green. All right, we'll see that in a minute. And then I used your provided stock MPXL that you gave me. So that's in the emitter. Um, the emitter is wireless from, uh, where is it at? From here to here, right? So that we can take this, uh, we can take this grenade section off. And we do that like this. And that pops right off just like that. It's a super tight fit. I did that on purpose that way these pins here, these seven pins that line up with this blade, uh, this blade PCB in here, there's no wobbliness. Everything lines up like it should, nice and snug, and then goes in there. Um, I will say you had a little bit of anodizing on your threads, uh, so I'm trying to work that in and out, just screwing it on, screwing it off, taking the anodizing off the threads naturally so it goes on a little bit smoother for you. It's not getting stuck right now on this piece, um, you know, and it's getting better, but just be aware of that. But on, on the back piece though, to get to your board, your speaker, um, these threads and this pommel uh, were very bad uh, when it first came to me. So I, be, I, I spent quite a bit of time working it back and forth before I ever installed it to try to get it smooth. I used some WD-40, um, used some lithium grease, um, and then worked it back and forth. It's getting a lot better, um, but it's still pretty tight. So just be aware of that, right? So there's your 28 millimeter speaker in here. Uh, this is a press fit into this pummel right here. It stays in this piece. So this is all one piece. You don't have to worry about having two separate pieces. And then you take this out only if you ever need to get to your board. So you've got uh, access to your micro USB and your SD card right there. And of course there are your two speaker pins that line up with this PCB right here. Um, if you don't need to get to your board though, you really don't even need to worry about taking this guy out, right? Uh, that, that is the only reason that it's like that is for board access. Um, and I did get the five fonts that you sent me onto this saber for you. Uh, I started this venture not even being able to put this on with my hand. I had to use a wrench, but or, uh, just a strap wrench. I didn't scratch it in any way. Um, I've got it to the point now where I can tighten it with my hands. So it's only going to get better over time. You probably not going to get to the board like I did. Uh, after I installed this guy, I probably go back to the board five or six times, uh, just making sure everything's good, uh, making sure that uh, you know you won't have any problems opening this up if you need to. Um, then you've got a removable battery system right here. So your spring side in there, that's your negative. And then you've got, there is a wire channel here that these wires sit in so they don't get in the way of the battery. And then that's your positive terminal right there next to your uh, seven pin PCB that I used. So we can just throw a battery in here. She's off the scope. Draw her out. This is one of the five sound fonts you gave me. So we're going to put this on. I did give you motion controls, so while I'm screwing this on, I'm going to try not to have the motion controls go off. Um, I bumped your sensitivity up to about a 3.8, so uh, it's easy enough to swing on and twist off, but it shouldn't have any accidental swing ons for you. This tightens down all the way, right? All the way until it stops and you're good to go. And then you've got your red and green LEDs blinking back and forth here to mimic the cave scene. And then when we fire this up, it goes to green. And we twist off. And we'll go to the next sound font just by tapping our auxiliary. There is still good in him. LEDs looking good like they should, right? Tap auxiliary. Twist off. Now, if you didn't want to use motion controls, you could just come over here and tap the activation button. And then tap it again to turn it off. And then we hold down the activation for a second and let go to get to our soundtrack. We'll let that play for a second so you can hear it.
And to turn it off, we do the same thing. Hold this down for a second and let go. And then that turns everything off, right? So uh, to get a blade in this guy, uh, there's a few steps involved. What you wanna do is you wanna unscrew this top emitter piece, but not the whole emitter. Um, I t hand tighten this down as hard as I could. Um, but if it happens to be coming loose on you when you're trying to unscrew this top piece, stop and screw this back in and tighten it up. You don't want to unscrew this main piece down here because you're going to stress the wires. So this top piece unscrews like this, just like that. It comes off like that. You've got your uh, MPXLs in there, but you have to take this off in order to get to your blade retention screw, which is right here. So what I like to do is I'll take this guy like this, I'll put it on the bottom of my blade, just slide it up a little bit like that. And that way I can come in here, I can put my blade in the saber, maybe. Oh, I have to, <laughs> I have to take the blade retention out first. So you have to have the blade retention all the way engaged into the blade socket for the emitter piece to go on, right? So when you're tightening th down the blade retention on your blade, you're gonna have to uh, give it a good snug. So we'll do that right now. turn that blade on so that I could see. So when this piece is off, right, you don't have very much blade depth. You don't have very much blade depth anyway, because this is a thin neck saber. Uh, but this really, uh, this piece right here really assists in holding the blade in. Uh, it's, it's uh, you know, once this guy is screwed on, it's good to go. If you feeling like you're screwing it down, but it's not going all the way, don't force it. Uh, come back and tighten up your blade retention just a little bit. So because of the way that this is set up, it's kind of set up like an LS6, um, if you've ever seen one of those. Um, you gotta bite down into that blade a little bit so that blade retention is out of the way of the threads. I haven't quite got it yet. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna back this guy up and do it again. All right, there we go. So once we get that, once we get that blade, that blade retention screw right there, once we get that tight enough into our blade, we can take this top piece, drop it on down, and then screw it in. And if you've got that blade retention all the way in, it shouldn't give you much of a hassle. <clears throat> we'll get it screwed all the way in. Couple turns, no biggie. Now we've got a fully functional and installed saber with a um, with a nail pixel blade. Nice smooth swing. Flash on clash. Tap the auxiliary to go to the next sound font. Father and son. Father and son. I think I gave you blue because I just didn't want to give you green on everything. Uh, it might be the next sound one or the next uh, sound font. So just tap the auxiliary, right? So you know when you tap the blade or you tap the saber, you initiate blade lock up in your blade. Kind of easier to see like that. And it will stay like that, okay, until you pull away from it.
Dumb little one. Rescue. This one had to be green, right? They all pretty much had to be green, but uh, the fallen order one you uh, that you gave me, I made that orange, and then I gave you one other one that's blue, uh, just to try to mix it up a little bit. But if you don't like the color, you can hold the ox and tap the power. And then you can twist the hilt, right? And you'll cycle through the color wheel and find whatever color you want. I'm gonna stop it back on green. But when you find a color you want, you gotta do the same thing. Hold the ox and tap the power. Now we've got a green blade. I did leave all the stock fonts on here for you, so you can mess around with those if you want. And everything will have the same LED sequence. We'll cycle back to the beginning. You see, a Mandalorian and a Jedi. They'll never see it coming. There's the blue one. just like that and now we'll take the blade out so when taking the blade out um, you know we'll do the same thing but just remember what I said about this main piece you don't want that coming unscrewed turn that off slip this up just a hair and then we'll come in here with our allen key and just loosen up uh, this blade retention one blade retention, so easy enough. Just don't be afraid to bite into your blade just a hair. So we take that out, slide this off our blade, and then before we can screw this back on, remember we gotta take this blade retention and we've gotta engage it back into the blade socket to get it out of the way um, of those threads right there. And then once we do that, this guy will come right on and it will screw right on. Right? So that's on nice and tight. You can come back over here when we're ready to be done with this thing and take the battery out. So we'll just unscrew the grenade section. This pops right out. You actually hear the, the suction, maybe. I do it fast enough like that, right? That's how tight it is in there. Um, and then we'll come up here from the positive side with our finger and you can pop the battery right out just like that. And then uh, put the saber back together. So that is your saber. Um, let me know if you got any questions. If not, I will uh, get this out in the mail to you tomorrow. All right, thank you.